let's start our show let's go live okay let's start best greetings my dear friends best greetings from Kiev, the capital of ukraine my name victor fursov and this is my channel about entomology about nature about insects about how to love insects how to study insects how to investigate them how to love nature and how to believe in nature well uh, this my show my this is my direct stream is devoted to a special subject special subject a review of japanese channels about entomology about insects well why because because uh, actually in our english speaking society in the russian speaking society especially the subject of entomology has been shown not so much but nevertheless in japan which uh, population is over 180 million people actually the subject of entomology is quite popular more or less popular because of a culture because of attitude of people to entomology to insects in the in culture well that's why today i will try to show you several youtuber channels from japan so japanese channels interesting but or uh, actually they are all indicated and all people are speaking in japanese language so that's quite difficult to understand for people who are not familiar with japanese language and especially with some characters which is named kanji and alphabet katakana and hiragana for sure but nevertheless channels are quite interesting and because because people are devoted to the nature, to entomological and insect study. And actually, uh, in Japan, uh, this is a quite a uh, very highly technological country, which means many people have uh, not only t smartphone, but also video cameras and different entomological equipment. It allows them to record uh, different features of insects and behavior of insects on camera in different situations in laboratory in a in terrarium or in the field in nature in a rice field in a forest somewhere in flowers so let's start from the beginning and yesterday i showed some of my video regarding hornets so that's why we can try to show you first of all some hornets which has been shown so I will ch change Japanese giant hornet. Well, let's go. Well, uh, definitely for many people, Japanese hornet is a dangerous stuff, and this is a Vespa mandarina. So, and unfortunately, many people are trying to eradicate them, trying to destroy them, and some people who are beekeepers they are not happy about it at all because uh, Vespa mandarin or giant Japanese horns is quite a big so we are making this kind of a sticky traps uh, very unpleasant for hornets uh, maybe a little bit pleasant for beekeepers so and because they're very sticky with very advanced Japanese glue some horns come in so we may, we're just diffusing some pheromones attracting another hornets and so some and many of them coming together and dying so this is a, a so destructive and so slightly unpleasant trap for hornets uh, maybe for nature but uh, definitely it's important for beekeepers to control to control hornets but some people are trying to observe hornets in the nature or in the laboratory as well so let's start i my all the channels were just written here in japanese so i show you it later okay in japan there are many exhibitions exhibitions devoted to insects and animals and many very nice museums so there are some exhibitions devoted to insects for instance this exhibition 
I just in the beginning was show shown this is insect paradise exhibition it's in paradise exhibition especially devoted to aquatic insects aquatic insects in japanese gangoro this is deity city beetles uh, predaceous diving beetles so very quite a big about uh, four or five centimeters very specially adapted to life in water and japanese is very famous because of a lot of uh, rice fields lakes ponds so this is a paradise for aquatic beetles definitely for deity city beetles so gangoro on the disappearing because of influence of humans some pollution of rice fields which is coming into the streams and then can come slowly to ponds and lakes so that's why in some areas where population of diving predaceous diving beetles not so high as before some species are considered to be endangered becoming a rare but in laboratory in this lovely exhibition different animals like this one they are just shown as freshwater animals in yeah like this one all these kind of crabs okay and other and other invertebrates exhibitions are, are very very popular in japan so the, especially like the centipedes centipedes big one but this is not from japan actually this is from madagascar but big one from tropical areas and some species distributed in Indonesia as well but probably this species especially from Madagascar let's start let's continue our review uh, well what's another I show the next one next one well but there are special shops not only exhibitions not only museums but special shops where you can go and buy for a decent or very high price some species of insects like this uh, approximately okay at 69 dollars 60 dollars for this arena beetle uh, which is uh, been artificially cultivated okay yeah 69 about 70s and US dollars, of course, it's sold in Japanese yen. Yens. Well, so in these shops, specialized shops, uh, many different, very nice, colorful, big size arena beetles, different beetles, which are cultivated artificially in artificial farming areas in Japan. Some species imported, some species from Japanese areas, uh, but Japanese people, some young people, they enjoy very much to feed them artificially in terrarium, like this huge one. Definitely, this is from beautiful uh, tropical areas and not not native, not natural for Japan. So uh, imported and artificially cultivated. But size is really huge. About you see, about ten centimeters. Looks very nice, beautiful. There are some plastic plastic beetles in a shop for kids but some kids enjoy very much and some animal, uh, adults as well to touch to play to enjoy to have a g fun enjoyment with the real beetles so that's why it's possible to find this kind of a shop and buy a nice beetle just for fun and there are some equipment some food some special wood with some vet vitamins, with some addictives. Oh, you see, the full shop, like, like a pet store. This is a pet store with huge beetles uh, exposition and some animals as well. With pets, some uh, some rodents, some mouses. Uh, yes, some small tiny mouses as well. Uh, but uh, in other countries, probably, uh, there are not so many such kind of uh, insect shops. Zoo shops pet shops they can be like this one with the smaller rodents but for beetle shops and for beetles you see like these beetles magazines this wonderful very much colorful 
journals devoted especially to Beatles, to Rina Beatles, to Stack Beatles, with absolutely amazing photographs. And this is kind of a competition, bigger size, different anomalies of a shape. It's shown on photographs and it's also the difference in price. Price can be pretty high, up to $100 and more for just for one beetle. And entomological and popular literature about insects is uh, very widely distributed in shops in Japan. Not only in the specialized shop, in every bookshop it's possible to buy a book devoted to insects, Japanese fauna, flora, plants and fauna, animals, and especially to insects. You can find in any bookshop. And here you see here some pieces of wood, which is used also in terrarium to put a beetle. The beetle will be crawling, sitting on a piece of wood. And then just special soil, special soil, special food, uh, like a jelly, jelly food for beetles. And so this is, a, and of course, a butterfly, butterfly net. If you want to go to forest and some entomologists, some amateurs who like beetles, they go to the forest and show us how do they do it, how do they collect. Hello, who is joining us? Hello to Azerbaijan. Devices uh, are not connected, it's, uh, it's written, so we cannot communicate. So, so many entomologists, many amateurs coming to the forest and showing some insects in a field, in a field, and it is especially interesting, especially interesting. So, so uh, we can, for instance, as I said, Japan is uh, very famous because of lakes, ponds, streams, everywhere around. So. Some people have very nice equipment like this very long, very long butterfly nets, so other dragonflies nets. And some be some species of dragonflies uh, in Japan, Japanese language, Oniyama. Oniyama is a huge, like this one, very colorful, uh, quite a big. Okay, they're still alive, but so if you keep them carefully, you do, do not destroy it. You can take a photo, take a, just animal from the net, do not kill it. I just show it on video carefully, carefully. And, uh, and this channel is, which we need not so many subscribers, just over 300, showing this very nice dragonflies, the biggest Oniyama, some biggest species of Oniyama. And especially if you use zoom, zoom on your camera, you can just change the distance. You can show the size of dragonflies just closely, their features closely, because they're not very small. With a zoom, you can just make uh, the picture much closer than just it is. Because dragonfly is usually very careful insect, you must be very careful to take a photo just in a close distance and take a video because it will disappear immediately in a few seconds. And here is this funny video. Okay, we are talking, talking about dragonflies and show them two species, two species of dragonflies, two species of Aniyama were different in coloration, in slightly in size and in, in shape of so that's why if you if you collect dragonflies, try to be more human. Do not kill all dragonflies, do not kill all insects if you are catching them just for fun. Just it is a real fun just to take them alive, keep them, you see, just touch, touch them, touch them carefully, touch them carefully. Do not kill them immediately to be very much greedy about them no just maybe just to feed them with some another insects you see because they're opening the mandibles when I'm opening mandibles you can try even to feed them and just release them okay yes, this uh, dragonfly is just 
moving with ad abdomen. So very very nice and very funny. Okay, let's let's show next one. And there are some lovers who enjoy very much beetles. Beetles are absolutely gorgeous in some collections. Let's start. Let's start to show it. another one. Okay, uh, this channel is a very nice one. This, uh, especially, you see here on logotype. Logotype. This is just a young, small kid with a net, a butterfly net, crawling around. So this is channel devoted to insects, and you see very different. We're very careful in time, special observations. So very careful. So many about butterflies, about caterpillars and uh, in a group of some young boys and it's uh, written also that this is a channel of a person who is just actually a singer who is making his business because of singer and uh, singing some sounds making some music but from time to time showing this nice beautiful caterpillars like this and like Papilionide butterflies, which are very common in Japan, and of course showing some. Uh, the, you see, this is side citrus, citrus egg of butterfly, and uh, on citrus uh, many species growing. This is a young larva of a mahon papilio, yes, a bigger one which is changing, and then just later will be big one, which is also very common and very 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 popular in Japan. Because citrus is uh, uh, widely and easily growing in Japan. In Japan, this plant is very common. So this is on orange, on citrus. So they're eating the smelling leaves of citrus, of orange. And it's very careful, very soft. This, this caterpillar is very pleasant to touch. And if you touch it, she will show some red horns on uh, near near the head. I'm just waiting if he will touch it and show just for kind of protection. Well, yes, for instance, you can carefully touch it. Do not. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a eye on just on a picture. So we can make the proposal that this is a, like a kind of a mimicry to be like a small, small snake. So maybe some birds will be afraid about it and if touch the head it will appear just like a tongue like a tiny tongue a red tongue which is showing just the danger yeah, and it can be dangerous for birds and they will release this very huge and very soft and uh, totally careless totally careless caterpillar but she has protection with this tiny small horns on here is some drops and tiny this is the first young larvae yes so this channel is really really very interesting and and i really advise you to see it this is a channel with this logo type about more than 57 subscribers let's let's go to see someone else Okay, yeah, and finally, just uh, this is chrysalis, chrysalis, and just butterfly is coming, butterfly is coming, hatching from chrysalis, from pupa, and this is a process of metamorphosis, metamorphosis, absolutely gorgeous, and this is a marvelous and very beautiful process, and finally, so beautiful, papilio, papilio, lovely one and you can feed them even with a little bit with sugar so that's why and release it release it so we'll be flying around away flying away and just coming back again to the plant host plant which is orange host plant is orange so easy to find let's go for the next one and share the screen share the screen of some another lovers of insects i will show you well 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 and of course cicadas cicadas 
in Japanese language Sikara Zemi. Zemi is very popular, so where everywhere, where everywhere, where seen in the lovely sounds. So and their names are different. So Abura Zemi, this is like a boiling oil. We have a special adaptation for Sini. And this man uh, with a very good channel, O channel, with more than 900 thousand subscribers and devoted to fishing nature and different sites also showing sometimes insects like this uh, aburazemi and so showing his structure on the abdomen what he's doing i'm not sure trying to break ah he's trying to show with the tongue with tongue with stick wants to try to show the stick because the stick is a very strong because uh, yeah yeah he, he is trying to show this is a special stick which is used just to penetrate the plant to penetrate the plant for sucking for sucking the juice with the moisture from the plant because uh, absolutely cicadas absolutely not dangerous but just a little bit noisy oh very much noisy if you are in Japan, they're everywhere, just very noisy in the summertime. And people say, do you, know, you do not like cicadas, maybe? No, I say, I really enjoy them because I know this is a, a Zemi, Abura Zemi, Mimi Zemi, Tsuku Tsuku Boshi, Tsuku Tsuku Boshi. Uh, very nice one. And uh, so it uh, looks very funny, very interesting. Yes, you see here, this is a portrait, portrait of uh, cicadas. They're really very funny, very funny with the antenna, with the big eyes, and of course with the stick, which is for penetration of the plant, and big legs, big legs, and they're flying very well. They're flying very well. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. And with special, yeah, you see, this is a stick, and here this is special apparatus, apparatus for singing, for making noise, for special plates for making noise to echoes and very transparent very nice and strong transparent winds strong transparent winds greenish grayish and so there are several species or special number of species of cicadas which are widely distributed in japan and southeast asia different species some species the same like in japan some are very different and sizes this one is quite a big more than five centimeters and so noise is uh, quite strong so cicadas absolutely gorgeous very nice and if you release them they will fly away very quickly they jump a little always they have wings so they have wings they're flying very fast and only after dying they are just dropping out just on the soil on the ground after the just life cycle because they lay eggs inside the plant inside the branches and larvae are growing a little bit and then just by living hidden under the ground feeding on the juice on the soil uh, roots of plants so the, most of their life cycle are practically invisible small size of cicadas living underground only just adults coming out okay let's go forward then this is oceanal very interesting one really very interesting and quite a big one so let's show the next one let's let's go to the next one and of course as i said some beetles are very very popular in japan beetles breeding beetles rearing beetles in captivity and also catching these beetles with a light trap so some people coming to the forest making just a strong light with a japanese thing with a car so from car with, there is a light and you see the nature is absolutely wonderful in japan so people are making a good good light and so many butterflies and all insects coming and with light trap you, you can collect many many different species of insects small 
butterflies and even small, not small, like quite a big stag beetles like this one. Oh, you see many small butterflies crawling around. Oh, yes, some grasshoppers come in, some butterflies, night moths come in. And stag beetles as well. You see stag beetles, quite a big one, like the same species, similar species of stag beetles living in European part of Russia and Ukraine and Europe. But this is Asian species and many Japanese amateurs and entomologists, lovers of insects, they enjoy very much collecting stag beetles because stag beetles, they have huge horns, huge horns, so horns uh, very attractive, so they like to, to just check what is the size of horns, what is the size of beetle, and enjoy it very much. So we have a, sometimes very big, very large collections. Yes, like here during the night, this these men we collected several individuals of these nice beetles, and logo of this man is also devoted to beetles and you see very good very nice equipment special light with quite a uh, with some cooling system cooling system and a very strong light for collecting so really devoted and lover of beetles let's forward to see next one let's forward to see next one what is interesting here there are some species, some another lovers of insects, which are showing interesting subjects, and we can try to see it. As a hornet, okay, this one. Okay, if you check the hornets, hornets, many people are just showing hornets because uh, people do not like hornets. You know, do not like hornets because they are dangerous. They are stingy, stingy. And it's dangerous, so uh, dangerous for life, for health. Uh, but some species like this, like this man with a huge number of uh, subscribers, and he's fisherman as well. He's showing in this video, for instance, he's he made special zoo, special box with this nest of a hornet, a giant Japanese hornet. This is O Channel. Uh, I showed him before O Channel. He made special aquarium closed of course because hornets quite a big one but in japan there are also some plastic hornets some plastic toys even this hornet which is costed more than hundred dollars and size about 15 or 20 centimeters absolutely gorgeous with this can be dismounted and mounted again this is you can make international order on amazon to buy it so the one company is selling it to, uh, worldwide. So this is not natural hornet. He's showing it. He's keeping in hand. Just for fun, just for fun. You see, here yeah, this is not a real one. This is uh, just plastic one. But the another the nest is real. The nest is real. Yeah, but but this plastic hornet is is done like a huge copy huge copy of Japanese hornet. Oh, sorry about this, this, this advertisement is coming everywhere. So he is trying to show some behavior of beetle, no hornets in semi-natural conditions, because if it is closed aquarium, it's much better, much easier to show hornets on a close distance with a good magnification, with a good and much better magnification. Well, so and make some toys, make some plays as well. What do we have as well? And some another links. Some another links. Uh, well, probably the latest one. I am not sure. So which uh, next one is coming and this also channel devoted to hornets with logo of hornets over 50 sub 5,000 subscribers and uh, you should I sh should say uh, of course 
the most of pictures in Japanese and some Japanese people they like very much to make kind of a battles and battles or between some beetles and cicadas between mantis uh, praying mantis and some uh, hornets between praying mantis and some beetles between cicadas and uh, mantis between hornets and hornets between beetles and hornets so I'm not so sure that this is quite interesting but be, but if some people like this man can collect hornets in the wild be careful about very much uh, or can buy some beetles in a shop as well so then can put it in aquarium and uh, trying to show 